Where's Johnny? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my Cimarron 1897 shotgun, which is a clone of the Winchester 1897 shotgun. I know I've done a video on this in the past, but as admin results would say, uh, I can do whatever I want on my channel. But before we get into it, it's time to acknowledge today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Armsless. So if you want to buy and sell guns, lots of guns, hassle-free, as long as you pay their monthly subscription, you'll get access to exclusive deals. So go check them out. Link is in the description. And big thank you to them for supporting this channel. I also like to mention Slate Black Industries. So if you want to buy sick M-Lock accessories like grips and panels, use discount code BJO10 for 10% off there. But with out of the way, guys, let's get into this video. So I bought this shotgun about a year ago when one of my coworkers, one of her family members was selling a bunch of his guns. So she brought in kind of a booklet kind of showcasing everything. And I was flipping through it, not really impressed by anything I saw until I saw Cimarron 1897, new, never fired, 12 gauge for like four to 500 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for it. But, you know, I saw that and I was like, I always wanted one of these things. Mostly like an original, ever since seeing it in The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. There you are. You could play hide and sneak. Come on, let's get out of here. Whoa! Sadly, he doesn't use one of these things in the second one, The Mummy Returns, which in my opinion is, you know, my favorite mummy movie. I like them both, so some people might murder me for that. But in that movie, he uses a Winchester 1887 shotgun, which is the lever action one. You know, I think many would consider that to be the lesser of the two, especially for those like in the cowboy action shooting uh, kind of like community just because slide action designs like the 97 tend to lend it, uh, work better with shotgun shells. You know, the 87's lever action, you know, it looks super cool. It's in different movies like Terminator 2, stuff like that. Um, it just doesn't work as well. You know, not to say that they don't run. Um, it just takes a lot of work to kind of get them to run smoothly and reliably. Definitely want one of those uh, one day. Maybe one day we can do a video where it's like 10 gauge 1887 shotgun versus 12 gauge 1897 shotgun versus mummy. If we could ever like get in contact with ballistic mummy labs. <laughs> but you know, what's it like to shoot this thing? I'll be honest guys, this is probably one of my favorite guns that I own that I like to take out to the range and shoot. Honestly, today's video was just an ex uh, excuse for me to take this thing out and make a cool video out of it and just to blast it. <laughs> Trash and mummy targets that I just uh, did definitely didn't spray glue toilet paper to last night. Um, you know, and I think the most fun thing about this shotgun, if you know anything about the 97s, is that you can slam fire them. And what that means is that this gun does not have a trigger disconnect. So as long as you hold down the trigger, it's empty, and you slam that forward, it's gonna fire the round. And you can keep on working this action, and every time you slam this forward, it's gonna fire. You know, how effective is it? Um, maybe if you were mag dumping or, or tube dumping into, I don't know, a mummy that was like five feet in front of you, maybe it's effective that way. But I think for most people, actually shoulder firing this and just working the trigger like a normal shotgun um, would be better off. And, you know, going back to how fun this gun is to shoot, you know, guys, it's okay to own guns and shoot guns for fun. You know, you have like your defensive and offensive kind of weapons like your ARs and your AKs. But, you know, it's okay to have some guns that are just fun. Um, you know, and not to say that if I kind of got stuck with this in like a, you know, non-permissive environment that I couldn't do work with this thing. I definitely could. Um, this shotgun just definitely runs. And, you know, the service life of this shotgun would kind of tell you that, or the originals, as this gun saw its use like back in the Philippines, and then all the way up into like the Vietnam War and later. So I think it's kind of a testament to John Moses Browning and his designs of how long the service life is of his guns. You know, you can see like the 1911 and you know, the M250 Cal still being used today. 
Um, you know, not these so much anymore. They've definitely been eclipsed by different designs, but you know, it's pump action, and it kind of goes also to the difference between the pump action shotguns and lever action shotguns. You don't really see lever action shotguns these days. Um, to kind of go into test, like when he designed, um, you know, this design right here, how long it stuck around. Because you can still see, you know, more modern pump action shotguns still being used all over the world today. But yeah, guys, let's, uh, let's do a test right now as to see what it's like to actually uh, slam fire this thing, and then we'll close out this video. Right. right. So that was with buckshot. As you can see, um, <laughs> I've managed to get, I think, most all of them on there. Yeah, so as this kind of gets away, this is like, the kind of goes to show this technique is for something super close. And so I guess if you're jumping into a trench like in World War I and you had a bunch of krauts in front of you, um, you know, same firing, you know, if that was like you needed to dispense all of those things, you know, very fairly quickly, could be effective. But I think in most cases, um, just actually shoulder firing it and working it like an actual shotgun is better off. Let's try that one more time. So, <clears throat> it was kind of shot up a little bit before, but I managed to get most of them, you know, it's definitely not as accurate if I was to actually shoot it from the shoulder, but I did manage to get a bunch of hits on him, and I think that's more of a testament to my ability to actually hit fire this thing, because I practice this quite a bit. So, if you're going to, you know, depend on hit fire slam, slam firing this shotgun, it's something you want to train beforehand, because... Now, a lot of guys, when they try to do it, especially there, I just hung, uh, I kind of hung it up a little bit. Because you really have to work this gun, the action, like deliberately. It's not as forgiving as more, you know, new shotgun designs. So if you manage to stroke, short stroke this thing, it's going to kind of fuck it up. So you really have to be, like, deliberate with it. And that goes with the originals as well. <laughs> That's all you got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Gene Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch which helps support this channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date whenever I decide to post a new video. But that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys next time.